now on Zoom. I can't even imagine. <laughs> it's crazy. Yes, it is. So, all right. So we should oh, sorry. be recording. I was trying to make sure. Yeah, there we go. Sorry. So you're, you're fine. Okay. So we're recording. Good. Got it. Okay. So cool. So you've never had a reading before. Is that right? Yeah. Is that what you okay. So I'm just going to explain a little bit about how this works and how I connect to spirit. And then I'm going to hop right into it. Okay. So uh, for me, I believe all mediums are different in the way that we connect to spirit. Now you wanted a mediumship reading. I'm just double checking because mm -hmm. that is where I connect to your loved ones who've passed over. Yeah. Okay. Um, cause that's what I've, I've got going on here. So <laughs> I'm just making sure. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, the way that, uh, I connect to spirit is, um, I'm mostly clairvoyant. And what that means is I see pictures and images. So the spirit people will remove my own thoughts, feelings, and emotions and replace it with signs and symbols of things that I've experienced here in my life. So they will show me things that are in my frame of reference that relate to what they're wanting me to talk about. Okay. So. For example, um, when spirit shows me a cane, that's always my symbol for uh, that person would have had a difficult time walking or getting around here in the physical world. However, if that is not the case and they had a cane that was sentimental to them or was their grandfather's or however you can connect to the imagery I'm seeing yeah, yeah. is the goal, not necessarily how I'm interpreting it. Because uh, I can misinterpret things because every now and then they will show me something that's outside of my spirit dictionary, which it's not a part of my normal symbology. Um, and so I don't quite know how to interpret those things. So I'll just kind of tell you, this is what I'm seeing. I'm not really sure what they're trying to say. And usually you'll connect to what, what it is. Um, so, and I do also hear them and I do also feel them, but for the most part, it's pictures and images. So, and all I need from you is to validate yes, no, I'm not sure. So when I ask, do you understand that? I just need you to tell me yes, no, or I don't know. Okay. Um, try not to give me more information than that unless I ask you to, because um, that'll get me to go somewhere I don't want to go. Right. Um, okay. All right. So it's interesting because I have a couple of people who have stepped forward here. Uh, in my awareness, I can feel, I actually can feel a lady and a gentleman stepping in. So, um, okay, give me a sec here. Um, let me just keep working with this. Okay, so I, um, I'm being shown, they're showing me snapping of fingers. Um, that's a symbol to me that the passing was quick and unexpected. Um, so oh, give me a sec, let me just, sometimes they kind of give it to me all in a weird way and I've got to figure it out. So um, it's weird because I feel like I have a gentleman who's wanting to come through strongest um, or strong at the moment. Um, but I know I have a lady here also. So let me just see who's telling me what. Sometimes when they come in together, it gets confusing who's saying. Oh, yeah. Um, so, okay, so I want to go with the gentleman here. Um, would you happen to have a father figure in the spirit world? Uh, yes, I guess. Um, like uh, it could be grandfather or yeah, someone yeah. Who, was, who was very much like a father to yeah. you. Um, so because he does feel to me that he lived a, a longer life. He, he doesn't feel to me to be a, a very young gentleman as he comes forward. Um, <laughs> okay. He, he was a very good looking guy, he tells me. Um, <laughs> uh, I think he would have been uh, quite proud of his looks, um, at, at, especially when he was younger in his life. Um, can you give me... Okay. So would you understand with your, with, okay, I think, I'm not 100% sure, but I think this is on dad's side of the family. Um, but would you understand with your grandfather a, a quick or unexpected passing? Um, it's kind of yes and no, which I know probably doesn't make sense. Okay, let me just see what I'm getting why this is happening here. 
because I feel almost like it's not just, uh, and I want to come in with the female here too. She's coming in strong. Um, so I almost feel like this is mom or grandmother. So um, that's interesting. Is mom for you past? No, um, my grandmother. Got it. Okay, they feel the exact same to me, so it's it's difficult sometimes to tell if it's mom or grandma. Uh, okay, good, because I have I literally have mother written down here, so I know she wanted to come forward um, pretty strong. So, um, and also, would you connect to there being a younger gentleman who's passed over? Okay, because I have a younger gentleman who's just stepped into me. Um, he's the one showing me quick, quick, quick passing. Very unexpected. Oh, I'm getting chills from head to toe. This is who you wanted to hear from. Got it. Okay. Um, he shows me my symbol like this. So y'all must have been very close. Does that make sense to you? Yeah. Um, can you tell me who you are? Uh, okay. Uh, would you connect to the name Joe for any reason? Um, not for the young man, but yes. Who would that be? Um, my grand, I had a grandfather whose first name was Joseph. Or no, not first name, his middle name, sorry. His middle name was Joseph. Got it, got it. Okay, that's fine. See, so they all are kind of talking over each other, so that's okay. I said, who are you? And I heard Joe. <laughs> I'm like, okay, well, that doesn't tell me who you are, but all right. Um, okay. So I want to say for the, the younger gentleman who's popping in here, I want to say his passing was a bit tragic. Yeah. Um, it was very, it, it feels almost accidental in a way. Um, so when I say that, and who liked the motorcycle? Who was who was in the motorcycles? Um, that one I don't really follow. <clears throat> That's fine. That's fine. And I forgot to tell you, there may be there may be some things that you don't connect to right away. Um, yeah. There's a few reasons for that. Either um, you could be having what's called psychic amnesia, where you're just not thinking of it at the moment, and it may come to you later. Um, also, it could be things that you don't know about that you have to ask. So, um, or it could just be that I've misinterpreted something. Right. Um, so, um, good thing it's recorded. You can go back over it. The things you don't understand, you may figure out later on. Um, okay. So, thank you. Was he, was the young gentleman in an accident? No, not in an accident, but his okay, death was very sudden. Oh, sorry. Don't tell me anymore. Let me just figure it out why I'm, it's weird because I'm getting like, okay. Okay, so this is going to sound a bit strange, but this was, this was not, was it, was, was he family? Yeah. Was he your brother? Close. In-law. My brother-in-law. See, I don't get the in-law. I don't get step. So I get it as a, it, I just wouldn't have said that anyways, even if he were, even if you could, he wouldn't have said, he wouldn't have put that. Okay. Cast if that makes sense. <laughs> we does. never refer to each other as in-law. He's showing me symbology that I get when there is a responsibility that they take. So would you understand him taking some responsibility for what happened to him? I wouldn't understand that. Um, I don't, personally, I don't think there was any fault on his end for what happened. I could 
see him feeling bad. Sorry, I'm just trying to figure this nope, out. Good. This is because um, I'm trying to get him to walk me through what happened to him, um, and it's not fun. Um, now he's wanting to talk about other things. He's like, I don't really want to talk about how I died. That yeah. was like that was just a small part of of me. Um, he shows me though weird um because i thought he was younger than that did he have kids nope i didn't think so but does is because i thought he was too younger so i was like hmm, that doesn't sound right but would there be nieces and nephews he'd be referring to yes that's what it is um and he must have really enjoyed being around the children because he showed me an image of like playing with the children. So does that make sense to you? Um, in, in a way, I, I don't know how much you want me to expound on that, but a little bit. Okay. Um, now, for some reason I saw a plane. Um, they were showing me a plane. So, Was he on vacation or um, I've, no. I've got to figure out the plane thing. Um, was somebody a pilot, maybe your grandfather, and they're just talking over him or what? Sh they showed me a plane. So that's got to be significant somehow. He, I mean, like, again, like, I don't know how much you want me to explain. Um, he he had, he lived across the country so he had to fly so you had forth. to fly there got it he, yeah so he flew back like the few times that i saw him it was always after a, a you know a plane ride got it now i dropped him off at an airport before Um, the first time I met him was at an airport, actually. That was the very first time I ever met him was at an airport. Oh, how funny. Um, but why are we... Come on. Has he not been over... Like, is, is he more of a recent passing? Uh, like eight years. Eight? Did you say eight years? Yeah. No, that's not recent. Okay. Yeah. Because I'm just like, why are, usually, you know, once they've been over there at least a year, they, they come through pretty strong and they connect to me. I'm able to figure out everything. But this is just kind of coming through slowly. It's trickling through, but it's okay. I'll figure it out. Um, so there, went, there, there was, there's something about, he showed me, he showed me um, like being rushed into a hospital or being brought into a hospital. So he would have had to have been brought into a hospital. Does that yes. make sense? Yes. Okay. Because um, I can see him on the bed being brought in. Um, but it's just not. Can, okay. There's something also about uh, the color green. Um, do you know if he had like green eyes or if he had light colored eyes? He has or... light colored eyes, not green. Okay, that's fine. Um, now, okay. that's weird. Um, Nine. So you said it's been nine, eight years? Eight years, yep. Okay, well, because I was being shown the number nine. Um, so that could be September. That would make sense. Okay. Um, 
He's also, he has to have a J initial too, though. He does. His middle name is J. Is it like James or, or John? Something? John. Okay. Because I kept getting the big J with him also. So I was like, wait a second. This is, has to be him too. So, okay. Got it. Yeah. There's, um, a couple, there's a couple J's actually that I have, you know, um, as far as like, you know, that have passed over. There are a couple different J's, so <laughs> you, it would make a lot of sense for you to have a lot of strong J's coming through. Got it. Okay. Now, he's showing me here. Um, okay. I got to tell you, you do have a few people, so I don't want to spend all my time talking to him because there's a few people that want to come talk to you. So, um, But I'm going to talk to him a little bit more to see what I can get. Um, there's something about... He shows me the telephone. When they show me a telephone, that's my symbol for um, not the opportunity to say goodbye. And it's also yeah. my symbol for you would have talked on the phone quite frequently or there would have been phone conversations. Um, so. I, would, I would say not the opportunity to, to say goodbye. Okay. Um, now... Why are you showing me that? So, okay. Was he buried? Not cremated, but buried? Uh, yeah. Okay, because he's shown me a headstone. Um, and typically when they show that to me, it's usually because somebody has recently gone out to their place of rest. Um, usually. Uh, but it also can mean something has been done recently in memory of them or in tribute to them. Okay. Um, I wouldn't really know about any of, you know, and any, I haven't heard of any of those things. Um, okay, that's fine. Uh -huh. But that doesn't mean, obviously, of course, that that didn't also happen. <laughs> this is funny. Your grandmother is coming in here dancing. She's like, I like her. She's got a very um, cool personality. Uh, did you know your grandmother very well? I knew one of them, yes, very okay. well. Let me get more information, and I'm assuming this is probably the one you know very well, because she's coming in pretty strongly. She's okay. coming in dancing, and typically when they do that, it's either because they were having a hard time getting around when they were physically here in the end of their life, and they're trying, she's trying to show that I don't have that problem anymore. And I get chills from head to toe when I say that. So I know that's what she's wanting me to say. She doesn't have that problem anymore. Um, she does make me feel like she did get to live, you know, a good life. Um, she makes me feel like family was very important to her. Um, now, I do get brought into my head here with her as I connect. So when they do that to me, that either means that there was Alzheimer's dementia or a stroke or aneurysm. Um, okay. So can you connect to that with her? Um, kind of. She was starting to get a little bit like very mild dementia in the very, 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 like very tail end. Got it. Got it. Okay. That's what it must be then. Um, so, but she does show me Okay, so she, I've got to tell you, she's coming through the strongest out of anybody. Um, she's showing me here my symbol of the hospital bed, which to me feels like she was either in and out of the hospital or her passing took place in the hospital, um, is why she gives me that symbol. Uh, she does make me feel like this was a slow decline. It wasn't something that happened very rapidly. Um, she does definitely, she's showing me a cane now. So there definitely was problems with her walking and getting around. Um, she, oh, such a lovely lady. Oh my God. Um, she must have also either sewn or did things with her hands. Because I'm getting either knitting or, or something with my hands. I get the strong feeling with yeah. as well. And um She's also shown me beautifully manicured fingernails. 
I don't see them as painted or anything, but they're just beautiful, beautiful fingernails. I don't know why I'm seeing that, but <laughs> that connects with her at all. Um, I don't remember her, like, not necessarily like nail polish, but she did take care of her nails and her hands in general. Um, that's what I, that's, that's more uh, or less what I'm seeing. I didn't see it painted. I just saw it manicured nicely and beautiful fingernails. I don't know why she showed that to me, but. <laughs> um, Somehow that fits with her personality though. <laughs> <laughs> So, okay, she's, she just gave me 10 different things all at once. So let me work through this. Yeah. Okay. Um, but I feel like that's her personality, a million miles a minute. Yeah. Um, like she, she liked to stay active, I, I feel like. Um, Verbally active, I would say. Yeah. <laughs> um, go back. See if I don't say it as I get it. I lose it, so I have to have her give it back to me. Um, the last thing she showed me was, was oxygen, so I could see the little oxygen, so she must have had problems breathing. Um, that was the last thing I saw, but she was talking about other things, so come on, work with me here. Oh, thank you. Pearls. She's talking about her pearls, her pearls. Um, do you have those or did she wear pearls or do you know what she's talking about? Um, yes and no. Like, it's making me wonder if it might be my other grandmother. The pearls makes me wonder if it might be my other grandmother. Tell me why. Um, my grandmother gave, had a pearl necklace that she gave to my older sister. Got it. Okay. Then we probably have both of them coming through. They um, both have very strong personalities as well. Um, yeah. And I keep coming back to the J because the I J. Seeing, they're showing me cards. Um, do you know that if one of them, both of them as well? They like to play cards or both like of them were card sharks or something <laughs> with cards I'm seeing cards yeah makes very a ton of sense for both okay got it um oh okay they're telling me that they give you symbols signs that they're around you she shows me the cardinal so i know that that yeah. would be a sign she gives to you to let you know that her soul is around you oh i'm getting chills she's giving me chills here when i get chills that's just my their way of saying you're right on. That's exactly what I wanted you to say. Um, so, and it's funny because they're showing me a symbol that I get. Who are you named after? Um, I'm named after someone that I've never met, like a great, great grandmother. Because they're talking about, they showed me a symbol that I get when there's a namesake or someone's been named after. So, I was a namesake, but um, I have two of my kids also have names that are named after other people as well. So that's. Got it. Okay. Can you tell me how many? Here? Is there four kids? You have yeah. four kids? Yeah. That's right. Okay. So this is their way to validate to you that even if they didn't know your kids when they were here, they are aware of them now in the spirit world. Um, I have to talk about a little boy. Um, oh, I'm getting chills. Oh, they're, they're coming through strong. Uh, <laughs> see, this is how it normally flows when I have a good link. For some reason, your brother-in-law was just kind of trickling through. So what that makes me feel like is, yes, he's here, and he wanted to come through and say hello, but... Mediumship is about what you need, not about what you want. And right. so you need to hear from your grandmothers. Uh, not necessarily that you don't need to hear from your brother-in-law, but the need is stronger with your grandmother. Um, she shows me here, did you used to sit with your grandmother when she was ill? Yeah. She's shown me that you would sit with her. And she says that those times were very important to her. 
and she's very thankful she got them, but she does make me feel like there were times where I was either in and out, like consciously wise, I wasn't always aware, but she wants to validate to you now that she was aware and that she does know. So when we pass over to the spirit world, even if we aren't completely conscious here, all of the memories come back to us when we are on the other side. So she's wanting to tell you, you know, even the times when I wasn't completely there, I know you were there. So she wants to say that that is important. She shows me the holding of the hand. So I know that um, you must have held, been holding her hand, but can you hold on a sec? Can you show me what's happening? She's saying, okay. Um, that's so weird. Um, okay, she's like, she's talking about a million things. Um, <clears throat> she's like, she's funny. Okay, there's something about, um, she she was not alone when she passed is that correct that's correct um because i i can sense people around me uh i feel like there's more than one so yeah. there's at least two if not more yeah um can you tell me how many sweetheart was there a bunch of people I, i'm like almost wanting to say five she has five kids that's what it is. Okay. Um, all right. Got it. And they all were very um, in and out. She's with. saying someone wasn't able to get there. Yeah. Um, she wants that person to know not to hold that, hold on to that, to let that go. Um, everything happened the way it was meant to. Um, I also, gosh, I wish I could get the full name here, but I also want to say I'm getting a D, a D name. Um, duh, duh, I, oof, I don't know what this is. Um, female. I must feel like this is a female D name. Would you know of... The female with a D initial. I'm but sorry, I'm kind of I'm running through like every name that I can think of real quickly. I can't think of a female. D. That's totally fine. Uh, you may figure it out later. It's like Danielle, Darlene, something like that. It's a um weird. Okay. A I'm definite still, female D. I I think yes, I think it is, but. I don't know. I can't think of it. I feel like there's one like on the tip of my tongue, but I can't think of it. That's okay. Um, I'm going to let that go by because she's talking to me about other things. One of my mom's really good friends name was Darlene. And my mom, would they always called her Mean Darlene. Is she in spirit? I'm or not 100% sure, to be honest. Yeah, that's okay. Um, that's just like a name that I can think of, but. Okay. Interesting. Um, slow down. Um, <laughs> she's talking a million miles a minute here. Um, okay. There's, um, she's like, oh God, she was beautiful. She's saying, she, and she says, I, like, she's shown me like photos of her when she was younger. Very beautiful. Um, so that must mean that you have some photos of her when you when she was younger or some black and white photos of her because that's what i'm seeing so you must have some of those i was also shown earrings as well so someone has earrings that was hers um but i wasn't sure because i can feel the other grandmother here also the per the one with the pearls yeah <laughs> So I wasn't sure if she was the one showing me the earrings or if it, and I need to get, see, I wish they would tell me who was who. Um, okay. So was the one that you weren't 
as close to is that dad's side of family yeah okay got it um so mom's mom is who you are closer to yes got it okay um there's something about a jewelry box that someone would have that they're showing me um a jewelry would make sense for either one um honestly if do you know which one is kind of showing that more are you able to Yes, but this is a box. It's not jewelry. This is a jewelry box. Um, but I would I feel like it's dad's mom I'm getting this connection with. So my dad's mom what uh, like a traditional like jewelry box, like like that people would store it in like on their dresser. Correct. Yes. Um I know when we were cleaning out my grandparents' house. I remember seeing the ju my grandmother's jewelry box. I don't have it. I don't know who does have it, but- um, okay. But you do have that memory. I do have that memory, and I also have a memory of earrings. Okay. From her. Got it. Okay, so this is just her giving memory links then. Um, okay. So this is her way of saying, you know, I was with you in those moments. Uh, so you were, that's what you said when you were cleaning her house. So obviously she had passed. So I guess that's her way of saying, you know, I was with you in that moment. Um, huh. I may be completely wrong what I'm about to say right now. And I'm totally fine with it if I am. But do you know if one of them liked horses or if there was something to do with horses? Yeah. Okay, because I'm big into horses, and they started <laughs> giving me, oh, how cool, okay, so they started giving me that, so I was like, but I was getting it kind of faint, so I almost didn't say it, but I'm like, I'm yeah. going to say it, um, okay, cool. Um, that would make a, a, a lot of sense, again, like, I don't know how much you want to give, like, or you want me to give you based off of that, but that would make a lot of sense for her, yes. Okay, uh, dad's, dad's mom? Yes, yep. Mm -hmm. Got it, okay. That's totally fine. Okay. Um, kind of. Can you tell me why? Did y'all not live close to her? No, we didn't. We weren't close. Because I asked why were y'all not why were you not closer with Eliza? And she showed me my symbol of distance. Like there was distance. Physical and she passed when I was an infant. So that would make sense. Yeah. Okay, got it. There's got to be, is there a George or a Greg or a... George. Who's that? My grandfather and my son. Okay. I felt like it was the grandfather coming through. Um, so your grandfather on the other side, his name is George? Got yeah. it. Okay, cool. Um, Ooh, I'm getting chills. I love it when they do that to me. Um, okay, cool. So he's coming through pretty strong as well. So is this dad's dad? No, that's my mom's dad. Oh, got it. Okay, give me a sec then. Oh, okay. So they were still married, correct? Him and your grandmother? Because he, he walked up and held hands with her. That's a symbol to me that the two of them are together. Um, but he also shows me a long, windy road. And when they show that to me, that just means that they were together for a very long time. Um, they're also showing me here letters, either letters or um, old cards, like anniversary cards, birthday cards, that kind of thing that somebody would still have or somebody has. Would you know of that? Okay, got it. There's also something about newspaper clippings or a scrapbook I want to talk about. Both would make sense to me. Okay, got it. Now that's weird. Um, does somebody still have someone's wedding dress or somebody's dress? <laughs> I don't know what that means. I've never seen this before. I, I saw like an old, it looked like a wedding dress, an old dress. I, 
it's I guess it's possible, but I'm not a hundred percent. That's okay. Um, and again, these things you can find out later on, you know. Um, okay. Is there a Carol or Karen? Um, I have uh, Aunt Carol and Aunt Carolyn. <laughs> okay. Living? Aunt Carolyn is living, yeah. Okay. And Okay, good. Now, um... Is that connected to, to George and his wife or, okay, got it. So this is just their way of them, you know, mentioning her to say, you know, hey, we, you know, hello to her and that we're, we're still around. We, we've not gone anywhere. Um, okay. It almost feels like your grandmother went to the spirit world before him. Is that correct? No. It was vice versa. That's weird. Because um, that's not the way it feels to me. Um, hmm. Not on not on my mom's side. On my dad's side, it was. Okay, got it. See, I need I need them to separate a little bit because it's well, getting confusing. And it's funny because they were all friends in person. Like they got all four of them got along really well in person. So like somehow this all just like makes sense. Oh wow! How Especially awesome! Especially the talking that? over each other is like not to me like it's not even remotely surprising. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, they are all very much here together. So, you know, that's just their way of, you know, they are all together. I want to validate. There wasn't someone who was a pilot, though. Was there somebody that had military background? Yeah. Yeah, military background um, in, I mean, three out of four of my grandparents' military background. Um, my Grandpa George flew, you know, to Europe. Was there a nurse in the family? Yeah, um, not in this, not in the spirit like world. Living. Yeah. Okay. Multiple. <laughs> ah, got it. Okay, because they're showing me nurses. Um, okay, got it. So. Somebody, I think someone who was in, in the military had to do something with planes or with flying or something. My grandfather would have flown to Europe for World War II. Oh, that's, oh my God, he was totally trying to tell that to me because he was showing me letters. So there had to have been letters written back and forth during that time period. There's a whole scrapbook of them that my Uncle Joe has. So. Oh my God, how wild is that? <laughs> <But> there you go. <laughs> that is so wild and I said scrapbook and oh, how wild is that? Okay, yes, okay. I love it, all right, good. Um, <laughs> that's awesome. Um, okay, Whew. I am like, and fill them so strong. Like you have got to fill them around you from time to time. Um, there are also... people that I think about almost daily. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you ever smell your grandmother? Not my grandmother. Is there someone that you smell? My grandfather, yes. On my dad's side, I smell him a lot. Because when I start to get a sense of smelling something, even I'm not literally smelling it. I feel it's hard to explain. I feel like I'm smelling something, even though I'm not. It's hard to explain. But when I get that feeling, it means that you you smell them. I smell them a lot. That's his way to validate that when that happens, he's with you in that exact moment. Um, so know that. Oh, now they're showing me. So, okay. So did somebody, did you or did your grandmother or is there something, did somebody do jumping with horses? I did. Okay, so um, 
because that's the the sense that I get is jumping. Um, okay, good. Um, oh, that, my door was moving. That's so weird. Um, okay. Uh, Um, okay. For some reason, they're showing me your wedding. Um, but I don't feel like, would I be correct in saying that they, that your grandparents weren't at your wedding? Yeah, that's correct. Okay. Um, so this is their way of saying we were there from spirit. Um, we did not miss that. Um, I'm trying to get them to, but I need them to tell me more rather other than, you know, it's just your wedding. I need some sort of validation. Um, is there a Tom, T-O-M, Tom? Um, I have, I have an uncle, an uncle Thomas who's passed. Okay, so, okay, so that must be him coming through then, okay. Um, gosh, there's a lot of people here. Now, somebody also used to like to bake or could bake really good. Um, it's gotta be one of the grandmothers. Um, Yeah, uh, that would make sense for my um, grandmother on my mom's side. For one thing in particular that, that I remember very strongly with her, that I link with her very strongly. It's either got to be, I can tell you what she showed me. It's either got to be a type of bread or it's got to be a type of cake. It's got to be one of the two. Banana bread, so basically. Oh my God, that was the first thing I saw because my <laughs> mom has been making banana bread, like no joke. Yeah. And that was what I saw. So that's why I said they were good at baking. So it's yep. like, it's gotta be either some kind of bread or a cake. Banana bread that I was obsessed with. And like, I still like miss. <laughs> How wild is that? Oh my God. Woo. Like they are talking to me, like every communication is different uh, with spirit, but they're talking to me like I'm talking to you right now, basically. Yeah. It's that strong. Um, so it's like, you know, they really want to, to assure you that they're here and around you. Um, okay. Oh, is there a David or Davis? Maybe the name Davis even, uh, the, the last name? Not that I can think of. It's gotta either be David or Davis. Something like that. That's okay. Just remember I said it and yeah. I'll see you later. Um, there wouldn't happen to be a teacher in the family, is there? Um, I was homeschooled. So, I mean, if you want to put it that way, um, Can you, can you expound a little bit on it? I'm like, because I don't want to say too much, but like. All I saw was, see, remember, it's all, it's all a part of my. Yeah, images, family. yeah. So all I saw was, um, both of my parents are teachers. And so I saw my mom in a classroom. So I wasn't sure what that was trying to say. A school would make sense. Okay. Um, so did someone work at a school? My, um, my grandmother's cabin was, used to be a schoolhouse. Oh, how interesting. So that's why that's, I was, that's literally what I saw was the classroom. It wasn't so much so the, that's why I was saying the teacher would kind of make sense. That's why I was like asking, like, what do you like? And cause that was immediately what I thought of it was the cabin. It was a, it was a schoolhouse. It used to be a schoolhouse. Wow. How wild. Whoa.
you live do you live in the northeast yeah i yeah part of the country yeah okay because that's where i'm brought to um okay where okay now you want to tell me the name john who who did you say john was John was my brother-in-law's middle name, um, and also my grandfather-in-law who recently passed a couple a uh, couple weeks ago. Actually, his name was John. That's who I've got coming forward. It's the John, the your grandfather-in-law. So this would be your husband's grandfather. Yeah. Got it. Um, does your husband like to play sports? No, he's not a he's he's not really a sports person. Well, let me tell you what I saw. Maybe you'll figure it out. Yeah. I saw a basketball. I have no idea why. I have no idea what it means. Um, but I saw a basketball. Um, and it's as I'm connecting to John. So um maybe back in his heyday he played basketball. I don't know. Uh, I'm not sure. I'll have to like see see about that if there's any connection with that. Now I'm seeing like um, trophies, so that's very interesting. Um, okay. He says okay. Uh, so John says he was sick, so that makes me feel like his passing was of the body. Uh, yep. meaning it was something internally, it was yep. of the body. Um, I want to talk about my lungs though, uh, and it feels like things were shutting down. Um, that's the only way I can put it. I feel like, you know, just things started shutting down on him. Yep. Um, but I want to say there was either a problem with the lungs or the heart uh, at some point. Um, um, again, like, I don't know. I don't want to like say too much and like throw off. Is there any way that you could be imagining or not met like seeing like an esophagus? Well, actually what I'll tell you what I was seeing. I was just brought into the chest. The chest. Yes. Yeah. So when they bring me into the chest, it's usually, you know, um, heart or lungs, but it could be esophagus as well. Uh, it just is brought into here. Um, okay. He's talking about, though, um, it's weird. So did they have a viewing of his body? No. This is weird. The, With the, the coronavirus, it was. That's what I was thinking. But he's showing me something about there was. OK. Was he cremated? I'm not sure, actually. I know these are weird, weird. It, it's fully possible. I wasn't, I'm not, I'm not aware of what actually was done with his body, but that's, again, because of the whole coronavirus situation. I think I know what the basketball might be. Okay. Um, so, and, and I could be totally wrong. You'll have to ask, I'm sure, but see if maybe he would have ever played when, with your husband when he was a kid if they would have ever played with a basketball together. Um, Cause I think that's why he's given that to me. I could be totally wrong, but um, I think that's why he gave that to me. But then I saw trophies, which that's the weird thing. I don't know what that meant, but mm, I don't know. Um, weird, okay. So, okay. he says though that his passing was relatively quick or unexpected. Does that it was, it was, it was, it was fast. Yeah. Okay. 
Um, so, okay. I just know, I, I just know he's not coming through like super, super strong, but he just, I know that he's around and that he's okay. I, I think that's the main reason he wants to come through is just say, to say he's, he's okay. He made it to the other side, you know? Yeah. Um, so, okay. Let me just see here where, all right. Now, I want to come back and talk to your grandmothers for just a minute. Uh, they're making me feel like, um, they're telling me to tell you, um, this would be your mom's mom who's making me, who's telling me this. Um, she wants you to know, she says to always be strong and confident. Um, there's something about she wants you to to um, be strong in yourself and to be confident in yourself. Um, she's saying that you are loved more than you know. Um, she says you're always busy helping everybody else out. And you hardly are ever taking the time for yourself. Um, she says she's glad that you decided to do this today for yourself. And um, that's what she's giving me. Um, there's just an immense amount of love here that she gives you. Like, it's very strong, the feeling. Um, Mm -hmm. she's like though I was always very confident in myself and I don't know I that's the reason why she's like she's wanting to give you that confidence so I don't know if there's been some things you've not been so confident about but she's she's giving you that confidence and um she's like I will help you have that strong backbone when you need it kind of thing um <laughs> <laughs> um, she said we are tough women we come from a line of tough women um, you know she she's showing me here the imagery of you know we were we will not be swept under the rug type of thing we stood strong and um, that is what she's coming through to to remind you of for some reason that you're you're very strong and that um, you have her blood in you is what she's wanting to say, basically. Um, okay. Are you close to your mom too, though? Because yeah. she's talking about the bond you have with your mom, um, her daughter. Yeah. Um, oh, she loves your mom so incredibly much. Like it's making me get emotional here. Um, she, oh, somebody has her ring. It might be your mom. Um, so she said, I said, can you give me something to validate? You know, you're talking about her mom and she showed me the ring. So she's got to have that. Um, she just wants to say to your mom, you know, that she loves her very much and that there's not a day gone by that she's not been with her. Your mom thinks of her often, yeah. um, I have to say. They were very close, it feels like. Um, so I want to give you this opportunity before we're, we're done, if you have anything you want to ask. Um, I guess just if they, if any of them i know that there's <laughs> you've got a bunch <laughs> yeah. but if any of them have any like signs or symbols aside from you know the cardinals which is really funny because i see them Penny. all the time but things Penny. to like like just symbols or signs to show me like that they're there with me pennies pennies is one Penny. okay um they because that's what i saw immediately as you started talking with pennies um And um, 
Do you ever find pennies now? Not, or? not really. Hmm, that's interesting. Um, what it, the, uh, something pops into my head for my father's death. Um, he had this massive jar, and I mean, like it was like one of those bulk pretzel plastic bins that was full to the brim of pennies. Well, but I don't find pennies really like often. Pay attention to that because I think you you will start to. Um, the other thing I want to say is feathers. Um, okay. Because I and I don't know if you've found feathers at all, but I think that's going to be another one. Um, and then it's weird because I feel like you've gotten you haven't gotten the feathers or the pennies, but I feel like you have seen butterflies. Is that correct? not necessarily in person and i know that probably sounds weird i've been seeing a lot of images of butterflies online that hey no that's that is the same thing so okay. like if you're say it could be on a shirt it could be on a piece of paper it doesn't okay. have to be a literal butterfly but butterflies is another symbol that they give you um but without a doubt, when you ask them, hey, I need to really know you're with me, they're going to give you a cardinal. Um, and I feel like pennies are going to be a new way that you'll start to, to notice uh, them being there and around you. And um, um, it's also smelling them. The that's smell. The, the smells. So that's the other one. Um, just for, I know he was very faint. For my brother-in-law, I guess. Just if there's anything from him, just like for me to see, or get him look out for, or any and anything, <laughs> I guess. That is so weird. Um. So he showed me a symbol that can have dual meaning. Okay. And you know, I, I have no problem saying I can be incorrect about something. So if I'm wrong about this, sorry, I'm just misinterpreting it. Um, so he showed me a rainbow. So that, okay. that to me can either mean that he was gay or okay. it can mean that you see rainbows. Okay. Or that that will be his sign. So does either one of those make sense? Um, the rain, it makes sense in that it's funny because his cousin sees rainbows all the time and she always says it's Patrick coming through to her. Um, I do see rain, my kids see rainbows a lot. And actually, um, my son who is named after, his middle name is my brother-in-law's name. Patrick. Oh, wow. That's why they were giving me the namesake. Okay. So, uh, and that's what I was saying. Like, I have multiple, like, there's, so August Patrick, my brother's law's name was Patrick, and then my son's name is August Patrick. They're also showing me 11. They're showing me 11. So that can either be the 11th of a month or it can mean November. So usually when they give me dates, it's birthdays, anniversaries, or passings. I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm not like, I'm trying to, so to finish the thing with the, uh, the, with the Patrick, August's favorite color is rainbow. That's what he'll tell you. His favorite color is rainbow. Oh, well, that's, know that that's his, that is definitely your brother-in-law giving okay. him those signs and Kids are definitely way more sensitive. And it's funny because remember I said I needed to talk about a, a young boy, a son yeah. earlier. And, and my boys every year around the time of my brother-in-law's passing, they tell me that they, um, that they, that, like when they were toddlers, I would hear them talking to someone and I would say, who are you talking to? And laughing, joking, laughing. And I would walk in and who are you talking to? Aww. And it, they would tell I'm, when my son was two, he said, I'm talking to daddy. He's right there. Aww. And he wasn't there. And my brother-in-law, like all my in-laws, they all look the same. 
<laughs> and he said he was daddy, but he was silly. He's silly daddy. And he's very silly. And so every time, every year in March, every single one of my kids talks, like there's some very eerie, not eerie, but like very strong presence where he is with my kids. Oh yeah, without a shadow of a doubt, without a shadow of a doubt. And um, the rainbows are his symbol that he's around. Um, and that's weird that you said March because I swear I saw three earlier, but it gets all jumbled together because it's so much is coming forward. <laughs> well, I, I can't possibly say everything I'm seeing, you know, it's just too much, but I swear I was seeing that too earlier. Um, wow. Well, I know that he's definitely here and definitely around. Um, he didn't show me though. He wouldn't. Oh, well. So can you, can you just tell me how he passed? Because I, I wasn't He died here. very suddenly. His heart failed. Um, he was playing basketball with his friends and he essentially just. There's the basketball. Oh my God, there's the basketball. And his middle name is John. He was named after, his middle name was after my grandfather-in-law. That's There's the basketball. Best. That's exactly what it is. Yep. Wow. I just got That's chilled. That's crazy. Wow. <laughs> I had no clue what it meant. I was like, Me either. I was like, I don't know. Like, they were. I'm like, what yeah. is this? Oh, wow. That's wild. Well, cool. Well, I wish I could spend more time with you. I would love to talk to you more, but I've got to talk to yeah, Jess. Yeah, no, I probably just go talk to Jess. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed this. And, I did. It uh, meant a lot. Thank you. You are so welcome. And I will uh, send you the recording of yeah, this great. whole thing so uh, you'll have it. And just let me know when you've downloaded it. Um, but yeah, I'll definitely, I'll get it to you. I'll either text you the link or I'll email you.